She has lobbied the halls of Minnesota State Capitol now for years. Now the disability advocate is swapping roles, becoming one of only a few Minnesota politicians who uses a wheelchair. And as Courtney Godfrey found out, that's not the only thing that sets her apart. Several days a week, Nikki Villavicencio makes the trip to Maplewood City Hall. A commute that without a car is certainly more challenging, but one that she worked tirelessly to achieve. And I say, well, if I make the community work for people that look like me and are like me, it's going to work for a lot more people. After seven years and three elections, she was finally sworn in as a Maplewood City Council member, giving people that live with disabilities a seat at the table. Being disabled actually in some way is my superpower because when I meet people in the community, they don't automatically think politician, right? And so their guard down, their guard is down usually, and they'll just tell me things. For the past 12 years, she's been one of the most recognized faces at the state capitol. She and her partner Daryl, two of the biggest disability justice advocates in the state, often seen outside lawmakers' doors with their young daughter in tow. They went from being on the outside, kind of screaming in, from the inside, um, speaking out. And while city government is far from the big issues fought over at the Capitol, she's been able to give a voice to low-income renters and young parents that weren't previously represented on the city council. Before I started running for office, I never thought that I would be able to make decisions about stuff like housing, which is really awesome to me. And while bigger opportunities may come calling, Villa Vicencio says she's happy as can be just where she is. That I could see myself being a city council member for a very long time because I really enjoy it. Courtney Godfrey, Fox 9.